Hi everyone, and welcome to the Watcher of Watches YouTube channel, where I'll be sharing my passion for watches, buying and owning experiences of timepieces that I have collected over the last few years. If you like my videos, please drop me a comment below, hit the subscribe button and turn on the notifications and follow me on Instagram. So if you saw my last video, you will know I was on the search for my Grail watch. And since that video, I've had lots of recommendations in the comment section below, as well as messages to my Instagram account. And there were three common recommendations. So the first brand that had been consistently mentioned was FP Jean and they had recently opened a new boutique in Dubai, so I decided to take a look. So the first watch I looked at was a chronometer sovereign, and this was 39 millimeters in rose gold and retailed at $36,000. And it's actually quite therapeutic looking at a watch movement made in gold. The second one I tried was the Automatique Lune at 40 millimeters in rose gold and retailed at $47,000. And the finishing of all these watches were exceptional and the boutique was really nice as well. One shop that always amazes me in Dubai Mall is the MB&F Gallery and it has some amazing things in store including their watches and clocks. The next brand always mentioned was Breguet which has so much rich history in watchmaking. I'm not a huge fan of the classic range, but I've always looked at the tradition range. And this is a boutique edition in blue, automatic, 40 millimeters in white gold and retails at $36,000. And they had other variants too. And honestly, I would not stop looking at my wrist if I had one of these watches. And it's clear to see why this is such a well-renowned brand. And I thought the finishing was also exceptional in all of these watches. But I thought maybe something in the future as the case design seemed a little too traditional for me. Once done, I grabbed a hot drink and enjoyed this view for a short while. until I made my way to a smaller shopping outlet near Burj Al Arab. And I've purchased a couple of watches from this independent dealer.
And the third recommendation was to have a look at the Vacheron Overseas with the blue dial. And they actually had one in stock. Now, this is the first time I saw it in the flesh and it was stunning. This is 41 millimeters, stainless steel, has an amazing dial and retails at $22,000. Actually, in this boutique, I've been able to try on some of the finest watches in the world. So if you're ever in the Jumeirah area in Dubai, do check them out. I've always enjoyed buying from them and the owners are really helpful. So where do I stand now? I think over the last couple of weeks, I've tried on some amazing timepieces and including some that are way out of my budget. But I keep coming back to two watches that are both dressy in the 5227 by Patek and the Langer one. Now, if I do pull the trigger, I have to decide which one. And quite frankly, it's neck and neck. Both are iconic. Both are finished to the highest standard. Both make me smile, but both of them make my stomach churn due to the price. I'm sure there will be a few sleepless nights ahead trying to decide which one. So there you go, guys. That's me searching for my grail piece. But do keep your suggestions coming in the comment section below. But until my next video, I hope you all stay safe and thank you for watching.